Beach walkers and surfers were surprised Monday morning by the sight of a whale washed up on Jenis Beach. Experts on scene identifying it as a 16-foot, two-ton juvenile minke whale. They're a small baleen whale. Um, they feed in this area during the summertime, and uh, I believe it was seen out at sea yesterday. I think it was already dead at that point, and then must have washed up either this morning or overnight. Also noticeable, fishing gear tangled in its jaw, a length of rope attached to a buoy. It's not clear if the entanglement happened before or after it died. It's also not clear if its death might be associated with a virus that has hit the seal population. There were two seal corpses on the same stretch of beach this morning. Minky whales actually are on an unusual mortality event right now, and that's mostly due to human interaction, so both boat strikes or entanglements. Um, but they are susceptible to also to disease, so we will take some samples and send it off to see if there is a relation between the seal increase and the whale. Onlookers had questions for marine mammal rescue volunteers as officials worked out the logistics of removing it to be necropsied. I'm really impressed though at how well everyone's responding and figuring out what's the best thing to do and what can we learn from this. And but it is, it's very sad. There's also evidence of shark bites on the whale, including on its tail. And it's a reminder to many around here that sharks too are just offshore. My concern is sharks coming closer and closer to the beaches for these kids that are out here boogie, boogie boarding and surfing. Experts downplay those worries. Necropsy and test results should be available in the next few days. In Rye, Jennifer Crompton, WMUR News 9.